Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Back in the West Parlor here at Gray Manor with a big announcement. Um, so uh, this has been in the works for quite some time. And I know this week I've already uh, posted on social media, even on YouTube, I made a like a community post. But I wanted to make a video about this. So um, several months ago, uh, Peterson reached out to me uh, with a proposition that we create a Pipe Nook exclusive Peterson line, which I was super excited about. I mean, that was an honor just for them to reach out to me with the opportunity because, you know, the Pipe Nook's not a big, uh, <laughs> a big uh, company, and Peterson's one of the biggest uh, pipe makers in the world. So that was that was, uh, you know, pretty. <sighs> How would I say that? Just an honor, I guess. It was an honor for them to reach out to me, because who is who am I? But uh, in any case, uh, we started going back and forth with ideas of uh, if we did a Pipe Nook exclusive, what would that look like? And uh, I wanted to do primarily two things. I wanted to have a series of pipes that was towards the more affordable Petersons that are available, um, and I got it down to one of one of the most affordable Peterson lines on the market today, um, but with some you know, two or three extra things. Um, the The other thing I wanted was nine millimeters. So uh, these are a nine millimeter filtered series. Um, the other thing that they have is a metal band, which, you know, a lot of the less affordable Petersons won't come with a, you know, metal trim of any kind. Um, it would just be a stem shank meetup. This has a, a tri-metal trim. Uh, it's brass alum aluminum brass. Um, it, they're all rusticated. There are six shapes. Um, I didn't go crazy with the amount of shapes. Uh, but they're some of the, the more classic shapes that most people want. Uh, and the line is called Peterson Phoenix Pipes. Uh, and we'll get to that. But uh, So those were the two big things I wanted was a more affordable Peterson pipe than most and 9mm filtered. Uh, currently, I also carry the Peterson Army filter and the Peterson Dublin filter, which are both 9mm filtered series available here in the U.S. Those are the only two, with this being the third. Uh, they are a Pipe Nook exclusive, which I'm very excited about. But uh, let's just get into this. I want to show you the shapes. Uh, the first shape, and these are just the first six pipes that I pulled out of the boxes, y'all. You know, I didn't look for the most exemplary or anything like that. But this is the first shape. This is the 03 shape. It's a bent apple. Almost what I would call a bent ball. Uh, really close to um, some of my other favorite shapes like the Savinelli 642. Uh, but nice bent apple shape. This is what I would call a chunky rustication. It kind of reminds me of charcoal for some reason. Um, but swirled acrylic stem uh, and it's got that fiery uh, reddish orange swirled translucent acrylic stem of course it's got the nomenclature on this smooth area on the bottom and it says peterson dublin peterson's dublin phoenix made in ireland 03 so that's the nomenclature that you'll get this is the 03 shape this is the shape i kept for myself um, at least the first one I kept for myself. I may wind up with this one, which is the Peterson 05 shape. Uh, this is their, This is what I would consider the most Peterson of all Peterson shapes. Uh, it's sometimes called a Dublin, a bent Dublin, but because it's fluted instead of just uh, tapered towards the top, I would call that a bell shape. Um, it's also considered a calabash shape. Um, and these will all have the same, you know, ring and the same style acrylic swirled stem. So that's the 05 shape. Uh, 
here is the 68 shape. This is a bent brandy. Um, they're all rusticated as well. But sometimes you can see this bent brandy has a, a, a bit of a fluted out towards the top. Kind of reminds me of the gum nut shape. Um, but this is the 68. Here is the 69. This is a bent billiard. 69 shape. They'll all have that Peterson P on the stem there. Um, I really like the way this these stems catch the light in various poses. It almost looks like frozen. This is a 69 bent billiard. Almost looks like frozen uh, flames, which kind of helped me name this series the Phoenix series. This is the, what is this, the 106? This is the only straight in the series. I should have done another straight, but this is a straight billiard. You guys know I like my bents, so, uh, you know, this series is kind of more geared towards some of my favorite things, um, but I did want to have at least one straight pipe, so this is the classic Peterson 106 shape. Um, and then the sixth shape is the 221, which I always like because of 221 Baker Street, or what was it, 221B Baker Street? where Sherlock lived. But this is another bent, I guess you would call this a bent billiard. Um, just a different shape from the 69 bent billiard. A little bit smaller than the 69. Uh, but anyway, these are all six of the shapes. Um, I like all of these shapes, but I had to pick just one for my personal collection to get started. So I went with the 03 shape. Um, Again, they're all 9mm filtered. They will fit any, you know, any 9mm filters. They come with one Peterson 9mm filter in place. Um, and then from there, you can use either, you, know, you can use whatever you choose. Peterson, Savinelli, uh, White Elephant, whatever 9mm filters you want to use. But anyway, uh, that's I'm done handling them. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the series, but I want to light up my 03 shape and I'll put those others back up after I've made the video and washed up a bit. <sighs> nice. So again, this is the O3 shape that I kept for myself. Um, what else do I have to tell you about this series? I got some notes down here that I haven't kept on track with, <laughs> so y'all bear with me. So there's an overt and a personal meaning of, of the the name of the line. Of course, uh, you know, the phoenix, the mythical phoenix is the, is a symbolism of, or a symbol of new beginnings. And I thought it would be a good celebration pipe. So if you're celebrating a birthday or an anniversary, a wedding of yourself or your children, or one of your children, or even just a new chapter in your life. Um, this would be a good celebration or a, a milestone pipe uh, with its namesake being the Phoenix Pipes. And I like the idea of just like the Phoenix being able to rise from the ashes of your day. <laughs> <laughs> or rise from the ashes of your previous day. So you can start your day with a phoenix smoke. Which I always find my first and last pipe of the day to be an, a nice reset. 
a mental uh, a mental reset. Of course, most times you smoke a pipe, you kind of get that, you know. You have time to sit and get quiet and reflect on your day. Take stock in where you're at in life, all that kind of stuff. But beyond that, um, you know, I liked the idea of, of, of Phoenix for the name of the line more on a personal note because these past two years have been rough, you guys. And y'all all know what I'm talking about, this global stuff we've been dealing with. It seems like the it seems like the world's thrown everything at us these past two years. So the Phoenix line, I like to, um, you know, use it as a milestone for myself. That hey, what you know, we're we're moving forward from here. Things are things have to get better, right? <laughs> They have to. Well, at least hope springs eternal. And not only that, most of you know I've had some setbacks in business in the past 8-10 months or so. During that, most of that time, these pipes have been in the making. Uh... So I like to, you know, mentally draw a line in the sand and say, we're moving up from here. I'm tired of having my back against the wall. We're moving forward. So, there is only, I think, one, maybe two other Peterson series that are cheaper than this pipe, but they don't have the... Um, they don't have the features of this pipe. So I'm real happy with that. These are $88 currently at the time of this video. That's the introductory price is $88. I'll keep it at that as long as I can, but you guys know, uh, things have, you know, prices of everything have crept up recently. But right now, at the time of this video, they're $88 for each of the six shapes. Well, per shape. <laughs> Um, I can't guarantee this, of course, for every pipe, but I can tell you that mine, and I only have one uh, currently, mine has smoked down to the heel from the very first smoke. And I mean, of course, with relights. It didn't smoke with no relights down to the heel. But what I'm saying is all of the tobacco smoked down to the heel. To the point where when I went back to relight it that last time, I couldn't relight it because it, all of the tobacco had burned. And I've had quite a few smokes like that with, with this pipe. So I'm real happy with my pipe and with the uh, series as a whole, but uh, I'm hoping this will be the beginning of many Pipe Nook exclusives. Of course, I'll carry, you know, standard series, but I would like to have another Peterson exclusive series eventually. Honestly, I would like to have a Savinelli exclusive series as well as a Rossi exclusive series. And maybe more. You guys know I want to start carrying other brands. A Rattray's exclusive series would be awesome. But we'll see. This is, this is ground zero here. This is the first, hopefully, of many Pipe Nook exclusives. Hopefully you guys saw my social media post or my newsletter post a couple of days ago. But if not, I did want to definitely make a YouTube video about them. 
You can check out all the specs uh, and other information about these pipes on thepipenook.com. Mm, dry smoke. Nice dry smoke. But we're going to leave it at that. I'm glad y'all got to see me, and we'll chat with you later.